As a speech pathologist, a few years ago, I decided that I wanted to work with students in a different manner than just in my office. And so I began to collaborate with Julie Raines, the resource room teacher in this classroom. Yesterday, we shared our, read, our writings, first of all, that we did a few days prior. Everyone did that, and they documented some of their key ideas on this paper. Following that, we listened to a song by Lincoln Park titled Numb, and we were trying to make connection from that song to Pony Boy. Because we're playing in Brighton, we did choose roles for today. From the book, I mean from the lyrics from Numb by Lincoln Park, um, I picked some words, numb meaning you can't feel, and then I didn't know what undertow meant, and then smothering meaning against something. I like the way you tried to reason out those tricky words. Let's start with that. Can anyone help us reason out some of those words? And Nick, you're a vocab master, and I noticed um, numb was a word that you documented yesterday yeah. as well. Could you help us here? Numb means, <coughs> it is, means you can't feel a body part like your fingers. It usually happens in um, snowy weather when you're outside for a long time and you can't feel things. And I also have one. Like when you're numb, like while you're sleeping, you can't like feel anything. And like when you wake up, your arm kind of feels, you can't feel anything on your arm. You feel like laid down like this while you're sleeping. I have a connection. Uh, this one time I was, at the I was at a football game and I couldn't feel my fingers. It felt really cold. It was really cold. Originally, the roles emerged from students' individual needs. Nick, how did you connect that to Pony Boy? Oh, uh, my connection was when Johnny killed Bob when Pony Boy was being numb. And when Pony Boy finally got up and he saw Bob laying there dead, he probably was numb because he's probably never seen someone get killed right in front of him. So what I hear you saying is after that experience, Pony Boy felt numb. Mm -hmm. And your reasoning was that he's never experienced anything like this before? Yeah, other than his parents dying. Mm. And Brighton started out more individualized. Students were actually sitting in rows, but very quickly a semicircle, and doing their individual jobs. And we realized that while students were getting good at sharing their own thinking, they weren't truly connecting to the ideas of others. And so we began to physically change the environment to one dinner table. And the word dinner table truly came from the students. As they were sitting there, they said, I feel like I'm at the dinner table. But I don't think like the uh, numb that I'm talking about doesn't really connect to like what happened. Like if you see someone dead, like you can't really feel numb. You feel like sick, for example, like, you yeah. Know. So he has another perspective. Christian's saying more like sick after seeing an event like you're describing, Nick. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Um, sure. Mm -hmm. What makes you say sure? Yeah. Um, uh, you were mentioning that numb is a feeling that could occur with Pony Boy? Yeah. And Christian's saying more like sick. Well, probably both, because when you usually see someone dead, uh, you, um, you're usually just frozen there, which is like numb, but you also have a sick feeling in your stomach. Yeah, I, I agree. So how might Pony Boy be feeling as they're about to have a fight again now? Probably more sick than numb, because in the book on um, page 139, mm -hmm. it said he had a sick feeling. Mm -hmm. Or was it page 31? You found evidence in the text that states he's feeling sick? Yeah. It's at the top of 139. Um, it was when um, uh, Shepard asked, uh, Pony Boy, did, were you the one that killed the Soch? And he said, yeah. I said, pretending to be proud of it. Then I thought of Cherry and Randy, and I got a sick feeling in my stomach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of predict that. And there were a whole one guy who said he's bringing like a knife. 
and I predict one person, one of the socias will die, and Ponyboy will see him dead, and he'll be, and that will remind him of Bob, who died. Mm. One reason that we lay the butcher ta paper out on the table is for documentation. So first of all, it allows students to document what they want, when they want to, and not only at the beginning or at the end of a topic, but all throughout the topic, because ideas spark constantly, and it's a way for them to jot down their ideas without having to speak and interrupt someone at the moment. Can I have a connection to that? Of course. Uh, I was also a predictor, and I just predicted that Pony Boy will get hurt, like, maybe like really bad, like he starts like to bleed out for some reason, or like maybe he gets like punched really hard. And then I also predict that a uh, person from the Greasers group will die from the rumble, maybe. So what makes you think that someone's gonna die? Well, because well, they're having a rumble and okay, so. Greaser, well, Pony Boy is like our age. Imagine our age and then like you're fighting someone, bigger people that are like stronger, especially so, so, so she's that they like sports and all. Um, to add on to what Christian said, um, was Dally still has a 10 inch blade that he took from uh, 2 bit. Oh, yeah. So he could show up. And he was really mad that he wasn't going to be able to be there because of his back. Or maybe he just took it for protection to, let's say, a so sh so shows up there. I don't know. I don't think he'll go to the Rumble. I think he will. What's your evidence behind that? I was really pleased with the fact that they almost don't need me as a facilitator anymore. And so they're so comfortable with their roles. I'm not even sure people would even realize they were doing them. They're just so authentically having a discussion with one another. They truly care about one another's stories and connections to their own lives. And I believe that really does create a culture of thinking in that class.